Thank you guys for coming back to my channel. My name is Nicole for those who are new and today I'm going to be giving you guys a video on how I was scammed out of $7,000 and the tea is about to be spilt. So this actually happened during the pandemic and something that happened to me via LinkedIn. And for those of you who don't know what LinkedIn is, it is basically like a business social media page and you can also have businesses reach out to you asking if you would like new jobs and you can also post your success on there as well and I had a message from some company and they were asking me if I wanted to work for them and I was asking more details about this and I also went through the interview process and they liked me and wanted to hire me and it was a really good job and I had done my due diligence on LinkedIn as well so I had gone to the site for the CEO and checked all the connections, made sure it was a legit company, pulled it up on Safari to make sure that, you know, this was actually legit. And I went through my due diligence and accepted the offer. And it was actually a remote position. And this is important to the story. So I had never accepted a remote position until then. And they had told me that they were sending me a stipend to get me started with my home office space. And if you guys have never worked from home, they provide you with some materials so that you can work in your office and set up. So I was not really sure how the process went. So they sent me a check for the stipend for $7,000 and I had received that information and then my um, boss at the time contacted me and told me what products I would need to purchase with that money to get my office set up. And I was really excited and looking forward to this job and not really getting any red flags at this point. But I um, was just very careful and making sure I was asking questions and being really polite with my boss at the time. The reason why I started finding out that there was something going on is because I actually had posted that check to my account. So I cashed that check for the stipend to my account for the home office material. And they had asked me really quickly, like, oh, when are you going to purchase, you know, your office supplies to let me know? And I was like, oh, yeah, well, my check I had put in my account, but it's not showing on the account yet. So if you guys don't know this, in America, at least, we have holds that are put on checks that are big. And you can't take the whole balance of the check until it clears. And it takes like a couple days to process. And it had not been fully processed yet. And I'm like, oh yeah, well my check hasn't posted yet, is what I told them, so they have to wait. And they're like, okay, yeah, let me know then when we can get started. It, it should probably only take a few days. So then after like a day or two, I realized that the check was actually like showing in my account. And it was like two days later, and I had contacted them and gone through all the lists. So they gave me like a list of office supplies that I was needing to purchase through their site. And I was getting ready to do that as well. And I realized that something was kind of sounding weird. So after I purchased all the supplies needed with my checking account once the check cleared, I was actually getting a phone call from my bank. And they told me, they're like, hey, there's some weird activity on your account. Is this legitimate? And I was thinking that, you know, they were talking about that check that was coming from my employer at the time. And they had told me that you know, this does not look legitimate. And they had contacted the head of this company, which is actually a legit company, but someone was pretending to be this company and the CEO that I was speaking to, which is very scary. <laughs> so they were contacting them and they realized that this check is not going to go through fully, even though it was showing on my account. So I'm not exactly sure how long it takes for it to fully post, but it was like showing on my online account and they had asked me at the right time to purchase the items. And then from there I had to file a complaint and I was out of $7,000. And it really sucked and I've never had anything like this happen before. It was absolutely horrible, would not recommend to anyone. And it was definitely a learning experience. I'm usually pretty good when it comes to like fraud and stuff. However, the situation was just so out of pocket because you know, I did understand when I was accepting this job remotely that I should do my due diligence, but this person was pretending to be someone else. So make sure you guys are very careful 
when accepting any kind of job, especially a remote one where you're not actually meeting face to face because these people literally do stuff like this for a living and it's just very sick. And I had to file two police reports this year, so I just have a lot of weird stuff. So I also had my sex trafficking issue a couple months later, so you guys can see that video too. It's linked down below. But unfortunately, this did happen and I had to file a report and it was very difficult to get my money back in this situation. And thankfully, the bank noticed because I don't even think I purchased all of my office supplies. Like I think I almost did. Like I think there was one more thing that was showing and then I realized that, so I almost was out $7,000. It was just under that, but yeah, I would never wish this upon anyone. I don't know why people do this for a living. It's so bizarre to me. I'm wondering if you guys have ever gone through something like this before. Let me know if your scam stories down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a lovely week.